Hey guys, Worlder here. Are you trying to leave tier 2 but not entirely sure if you should? Let me go ahead and tell you what I think you should have as a minimum requirement. Alright, so in my opinion, there's two or three types of players that should be leaving tier 2. And obviously, let's start off with the first one. The first one is going to be the one that just wants to get in, get out. Now, for those players, the minimum requirement is honestly one legendary pet and accessory. It doesn't really matter which type you get. Players are just going to want to scrap them for mythic accessories and pets. You can always get away with one that's unreforgeable. Just know that it is a lot harder. If you really just want the bare minimum, that is the best thing you can do. But in my honest opinion, that is not enough. Now for the average player that can actually farm for a while and doesn't plan to leave tier two as fast, I recommend getting two legendary accessories. And in my honest opinion, one of each is the best way to go. And the reason for that is because if you plus three both of them, you can actually scrap them and get a lot of materials to be able to hard craft one of your accessories. Now, the same thing goes for pets. However, I really do think that you guys should have one defensive and one offensive pet. I also recommend getting a legendary mount. Personally, I think buying one in shop is a lot easier and I recommend Zardax. Another thing I recommend is having 30 to 40 mud. Just having the mud out of the way is super easy and it's very easy to do down here. All you gotta do is run the tier one D4 pretty much until you're ready to leave. Having at least a few bit gore and also just having some materials to farm. I don't recommend using them right away. I do recommend using them towards the end where you're very, very stuck. And by that, I really do mean tier 15 plus. I really don't think anyone should use their stuff before then. Now that's pretty much going to be for the average player when it comes to gear. And now for familiars on the average player, what I think you all should have is definitely have your maxed out Panks, you're gonna want to have your maxed out panks that way you can either go into Penguita or Korgs right away. What else do I recommend? I recommend having a maxed out Yobo for sure. That is pretty much it. If you do move on, you can just get the gems you need to bribe for Blargnar. And if you want Blargnar, obviously you're gonna want the seven blubber to go with it. So obviously get the seven blubber before you leave. And then you can pretty much just bribe the seven familiars you need to make blognar in the first raid and of course you can make no Saddam to make your legendary tank especially if you want to utilize what you already had off the get-go which is what i plan to do that is for the average player for those min maxers like me and other players that are trying to stay here for a decent amount of time and then leave when they feel they're ready um i'm here to leave my mark i'm here to pretty much show that i am a very strong tier camper i'm trying to max out my block chance before leaving here that way i don't need any sets to pretty much progress through the game and then i can just go on through probably all the way until i'd say year 14 ish i would be able to do this so that's really what i'm aiming for is to be strong without a set personally i want to have a decent amount saved in my in my consumables i do not want to leave until i have at least one bit core for each tier and i don't think i'd have to count the first it's say nine tiers i'd say the first nine tiers i don't even need a big gore i can just smooth sail through with epics so you won't really need a big gore until 10 plus it's not really that much 10 11 big gore two thousand years later raid shards i want to have these at 100 which is pretty easy if i use my gems to buy them i want to have them at least at 100 and i obviously want to have some plaques of badges if you have an ultra gore or a coal gore which i'm going to roll for on that chest let me see if it's in the shop this right here the large lucky boost box there's obviously better variants of these which i'm going to wait for i'm going to pretty much try to buy that box with the gems that i get from 2-2 camping until i get a either a coal gore or equivalent or a ultra gore and the reason is because if you do get that and you save up to i'd say around 50 to 100 plaques, you could run them all on GVG. They usually have a double or triple event. I'm going to wait for that very rare triple event and I'm going to push for all the colors I need. I've heard people get 50 to 70-ish colors on just one boost. So 100 to maybe 200 of these plaque badges or plaques of badges is what I'm personally aiming for. PvP tickets, don't really care. Do I plan to get the champion bundle? Of course I do, but it's like my least priority. I'd probably put that in the back for now and probably try to get that later on out of the tier. It's one of the few things that I don't mind 
borrowing for it later gives me something to do go ahead and talk about the familiars for the min maxer i would say having about four maxed out robbie which is going to be nine robbie if you can't get that much two is good i mean obviously that's the hardest grind right now is getting all the robbies but two maxed out is really strong making it seven total if you get seven of those and of course you get your nine yobo which is very easy however the sprockets are going to be shared for both just remember that that's all you would need for a long while you obviously want to get your pengs that way you can save up for penguita that way you have someone to get you to Pinguita, and by the time you get to Pinguita, your farm is halfway done. Just those three familiars for the min-max, nothing crazy. You can obviously get a bunch of other things, like I'm trying to max them all out before I leave, complete the tier before I'm done. I would say Yobo, Robbie, and Pengs, max them out. If you really are trying to min-max, but you don't want to do those Robbies, hey man, don't sweat it. You don't make Korgs with Pengs. Like I said, you can always just make around 14 of these, so you can make Pinguita and Korgs, so don't even trip. You can do either or and that's pretty much going to be it for the recommendations on getting out of this tier. um strongest things that i recommend saving up for is definitely definitely going to be um all those bundles on the events for the cheaper accessories and pets save your gems guys i know it's very tempting to spend them the moment the reset comes and you see all those nice accessory boxes on sale and stuff but save 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 trust me if you save and you wait for the events, the events come every month or two nowadays. They're a lot more often than they used to be. Back in the day, you would get an event like once or twice a year. It was terrible. Now we have so many events. It's so free to play friendly and all the prices are just so cheap. Just wait for those. Trust me, wait for those. And that's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. If you guys have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.